Uh, well, you can guarantee that one place that Donald Trump won't be visiting on his uh, journey here to Texas is this center here near the border where hundreds of refugees sometimes every day or asylum seekers are processed here. All of them have been arrested. Uh, they get detained. Uh, when they're released, they come here. Uh, they get processed, they get clothing and food. Uh, let's just show you around a little bit of what's happening here. Dozens of volunteers at work. Uh, here's Lena, one of them, uh, just sorting out clothing uh, and blankets for the asylum seekers. And um, the thing is, though, that although the people here have been arrested, all of them came here in legal ports of entry. So. I asked the organizer, Sister Norma Piento, whether that means a border wall would make any difference at all. This is what she had to say. When a family uh, flees a circumstances that is very painful and difficult and scary, they go out of their way to reach a place where they feel will be safe. So nothing will stop them. As much as we try to deter them from coming, they will still come because they're searching for for a survival, for a chance for life, and so they'll find it any way they can, and they're hopeful that they will be welcomed, that they will be given an opportunity to be safe. Well, Sister Norma will actually be meeting the president a little later as part of a roundtable discussion where she'll be making her points to him then. As for the president himself, he'll be meeting border officials uh, who he's expected to hear from them that they do think a wall is necessary. And we're getting ever, ever closer now to a position where he may declare a national emergency because with the Democrats refusing to climb down, that may be the only way that he can get the government open and say that he's still pushing for a border wall.